to the University Life, Lewis here bringing you another video. How is the union doing today? Oh, I, I heard it too, don't you worry. New intro. Yeah, basically I thought, you know, since we've now got 100 subscribers, a nice round number, I thought I'd start to uh, include you guys, make you feel included at the start of the video, rather than just tagging you along at the end of the video. So uh, yeah, it feels weird now, but I'm gonna get used to that new intro. It sounds alright. It is now Monday, today is the big day. We are going on a trip to see the man who produced the goods to deliver me into this world. That's right, we're talking about Papa Joe, AKA the Big Griff Man. It's kind of gross when you think objectively about what your dad actually is. Yeah, I've uh, I picked up the brother. He's uh, left all his trap here, so that's how you know he's here. Um, but yeah, he's just getting a shower so that he's nice and pretty for the cameras. And uh, yeah, we've got a couple of things to do and then we'll uh, we'll be getting, getting on with it, really. A four hour drive. Not looking forward to it. <laughs> oh, by the way, I did check the comments, but I really don't have time to do it right now. So, so Pontus, yeah, your days are numbered, mate. Okay, so there's a couple of steps that I needed to do to make sure I did not die horrifically on the journey to Taunton. And now, step one was something I needed to do for a long time. It was to fix my glasses. And uh, yeah, I made an absolute cock up of it, as you can see by my despair. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, that is right, Lewis. You have fucked up. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so yeah, we got the stuff, packed it into the car, and at that point it was time to move on to step number two, which was to put some air in the tyres. And that's something I've never done before, but I think it went pretty well. Alright. I think I did it. Oh, look. Step number three, nice and simple, put some petrol in the car, and now we are good to go. There was actually a fourth thing on the list that was uh, crashing horrifically from exhaustion, so uh, I think we uh, got some lunch, and then... Uh, right, let's go. Kept myself awake by singing French. Anyway, uh, after that we were bound for Taunton. Alright, so made it made it to Taunton, took about uh, just over six hours, kinda got stuck in uh, bad traffic. I'm just I'm exhausted now, so um, I'm just talking quiet because I don't really want to disturb people, but um, yeah, I think tomorrow we're gonna go to the zoo, so uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna Gonna get some rest because I've had five hours sleep in the last 48 hours. So yeah, I'm gonna go to bed and uh, I'll catch up with you in the morning when I'm a little bit more with it. All right, I will see you tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> Rise and shine! Wakey, 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 wake up, wake up, fuck up. Wake up. <laughs> Okay, so it is a new day. I've uh, I've been refreshed. I've had a shower, and uh, I think we're going to the zoo today. Is, it, is that right, where We're going to the zoo. Safari. Safari. Yeah, we're going to the safari. So that'd be really cool. I guess I should show you around the the place we're living in, actually. So that's where we're staying. I got a got a naked bro over there. Uh, I come into here. Got a got a very very nice bathroom. Hello. Can we come into the lounge area? It's a, it's a really nice flat, actually. Very nice flat. Um, yeah, <laughs> Dad's done well here. <laughs> okay, so if we just open this door, it goes out onto the balcony. And, uh, yeah, this is the view we're looking at. Pretty cool. Usually get some runners popping about here. So yeah, that's the, that's the view from outside the, uh, outside the flat. Yeah, it should just be really fun. Look at that. These glasses definitely need sorting out. Made an absolute cock up of that. There we go, that is where we are going. Longleat. So, yeah, I think it's about an hour's drive from here. So, um, yeah, I suppose I'll, I'll get in the car and then, and then we'll show you what that's all about. If you need sugar to drink tea, then. <laughs> 
I actually have fucking hair gel. I have tubes, which is probably just as much as I do. I love that orange fan. Coffee's Oh, he's come to you now, Lou. Oh, <laughs> is hello, he? you. He's in the car now. Oh. So today was interesting. Went to a place called Longleat. It's got the, uh, the first ever safari outside of Africa. Now it might look it, but you're not actually in the African savanna. Oh. So please, no. <laughs> Alright, well, this is what we're feeding the deers with. Some more. Nom, 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 nom. Yeah. So when we got to the entrance, there was a, a little bit where you could walk through, but most of it you had to do in the car. The bit on foot, we looked at some wallabies, and we also saw some lemurs. He is literally so cool. Just going about his business. cute though like I was surprised how close we could get to them one got really close actually and then we were gonna me and Reese we really wanted to get a selfie with it but then this, this bratty kid came running over and scared it off so yeah when we actually got on the safari it was really good actually um, really really cool uh, got to see some giraffes got really up and close with the deers and got to feed them that was that was really cool I think that was like the the bit that everyone wanted to see it was like the tigers and the lions but it was probably the most disappointing bit to be honest because they were either really far away or they weren't doing anything and then right at the end there was timber wolves and I was like whoa I've never seen a tin wolf before that'd be really cool but I didn't even bother filming it because there was only one and it was doing absolutely nothing. It was just lying in the, on the floor. So overall it was really cool though. And uh, there was a couple of other things. There was a there was a big house, a big like manor with some grounds and it was a really pretty place. Well, you think you can do it? Ah, uh, <laughs> pussied out. There we go. So I wasn't allowed to film inside um, just because of how old everything is in there, so they tried to preserve it as much as they can. There was actually the, the option to go through, like, this bit with the monkeys, um, but, uh, I don't think our dad would let us do that because um, they like crawl up your car and do all sorts, pull off wing mirrors, mess up sensors, so uh, yeah, dad's got quite a nice car so we couldn't do that, but uh, it was pretty funny to watch other people. And then uh, outside the grounds there was like this maze, but um, I, I didn't go in the maze because I've just, I've heard too many horror stories about the, about mazes, so uh, I, uh, I stay well clear of that. In terms of the rest of the day, I think just, you know, just chilling with family, uh, gonna have some tea, so nothing too much I really want to vlog, so uh, I think tomorrow we're actually going into Taunton, so yeah, uh, I'll show you what that's like, and then I think we might also be going to Glastonbury, so uh, yeah, anyway, I'll, uh, I'll keep you posted, uh, that's all for today. So yeah, we went to uh, went to Taunton town, but the weather's just been really bad today. So tried to get some filming done, but uh, we really didn't spend long there. Uh, just went into Top Man and Moss Bros, getting some uh, getting some outfits for Reese because he's starting his new job on Monday. 
Then uh, we decided to go to Glastonbury uh, to see if the weather was any better there. I couldn't get anything figured. Like I tried to record and it just wasn't happening. I didn't have my uh, my setup. Like I've I've done it in the rain before, but I didn't I didn't have what I did in Leeds. Like, I taped an umbrella to to the camera. I think last time. Glastonbury is really interesting. Like it's not what I thought it'd be. It's like some weird like enchanted forest type. It's weird. Like the way I describe it, it's sort of like a scene you'd picture in like The Hobbit or something. Like everywhere it's just these little quirky bookstores and. There's a lot of like spiritual stuff and magic and people sort of wearing weird like outfits. It's uh, it's definitely yeah. It's it's an interesting place to go to because uh, normally I just think when when you say Glastonbury I just think. But no, it's really not like that. And uh, you know it's got the Abbey, but we didn't go through it. Cause just really bad weather, so didn't want to didn't want to tr trudge through the mud. It's kind of sad really that uh, this is how. This is how all the uh, vlog's gonna end, really, but, um, yeah, I'm gonna go out for a meal with the family and that's that's gonna be it, really, then I'm gonna head back, so, um... It looks like the camera's gonna die anyway, and I didn't bring a charger, so, uh, so yeah, I'll have to catch up with you uh, when I'm back at home, alright? There we have it, so that was the end of the Taunton vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, just finished editing it, and... It was a it was a bitch to edit. I'm not gonna lie. So um, yeah, if you enjoy these type of videos, leave a like on the video. It's not how I want the video to turn out in the end, but you know, with the weather and everything, I think it was the best way to do it. So um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, if you're new, subscribe, join the union, and I will see you in the next video. This video is done. Hey!